All right, a little bit about speeds and feeds when reaming this stuff. Um, now mind you, this is just my opinion, but uh, after learning to do some machine work, I have learned that these reaming tools they're selling us, we're not using them properly. Uh, and this cast aluminum contains a lot of zinc. It likes a very high speed cutter uh, with flood coolant. Um, these reamers are designed to remove ten thousandths of an inch of material at a time. Um, we're pulling way more than that with them. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this bore, wash it out right quick, uh, flip it over, cut the other bore, so we're doing TCC ISO and reg, and then we're going to flip it over and do actuator feed limit. Then I'm going to blow the chips out, wash it out, resurface it, take it over to the assembly bench, stick the new parts in there, and vacuum test it all in real time, all right in front of you, hopefully. Here goes. Quick shot with this stuff in both the bore and the tool. You need a drill that's manly enough to do this on the high speed. Hang on a minute. Supposed to get it on you. There's no play in that. So it's out of there. See it? There's no play in that. Nice and tight. want to come out. It's a good fit. You never turn them backwards. All right, that's done. Do actuator feed limit. Blood coolant is important for chip removal. I gotta flip this around. I thought it looked funny when I set it down in there. Chip removal is the biggest thing about surface finish. Getting the chips out of the way before they do damage.
tight. Doesn't want to come off. It probably takes longer to clean up the damn mess. And this is another good reason to do complete valve body teardowns. So you can get rid of the mess. You can make sure there's no chips in these things. This valve body is completely empty except for the forward abuse valve. The only thing I did is completely disassemble this valve body. And do anything else to it before I turn the camera on. resurface job on it as soon as I get the tripod set up here. I'm just knocking the high spots down. Burrs that you raise when you're working on it. Burrs somebody else raised when they worked on it. any serious warpage I'll see it when I pull it up. It's good. Rinsing it out one more time. I just had a chip land on my shoulder when I was blowing that out.
Got to take care of the paper. $12 a sheet. Take care of it. It'll last you several months. Quick rinse with some brake cleaner. This little container here catches the brake cleaner. I reuse it, saves a lot of money. Get the back side. This thing needs to be pressurized again. Take it over here to the Clean and blow it out again. And I am reasonably confident there's no chips in that dude. But I'll look again anyway. Blow the t-shirt off. Now we're going to do actuator feed limit first. So these are TCC. There's the abuse plug. That dude just dropped in there. You might think, oh no, it's loose. Trust me, it will be good. Get the plug in there. in there. This dude's already been calibrated. It's on there. And you can tell by the, the grease on the back, it fit. We check one more time, we're good. We're good. Oops, got y'all staring at the wall. Sorry about that. And blurry. So I've checked one more time, we're good. I'm gonna double check the calibration. Right at five and a half, actually showing uh, four and a half. That's right at five. Maximum 25, we're good. One more time for meanness. Make sure it's over it. 24 and a half. 
It doesn't get any better. We're going to do TCC. ISO sleeve. You almost have to press it in. It's all the way down. It's all the way down. Spring is in. Valve is in. The retainer's in. It's on it. See it? Twenty-four. It doesn't get any better. And no need to push the foot around with it either. Same reading over here on the other end of it. See the other end? Same reading. Speeds and feeds. If you're not getting good readings after you're reaming, it could be you're being too careful about it. High speed flood coolant, ram it in there. That's how I do it. You can do it any way you like. You can listen to the people that, whatever. Just trying to help. I hope it helps, and I hope we see you again. Thanks. Bye.